Buenas tardes a todos, estoy aquí con Dennis Ward y Michael Kiske de Unisonic. Vamos a hacer una pequeña entrevista para que en Días de Rock conozcáis eh, su actualidad. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Pleasure to be here enjoying the, the sun in Spain. Welcome back yes. again to Spain. Thank you. Uh, first thing, obviously, you are here because you have a new album. So this album is going to be, as has been recently unveiled, The Light of Dawn. Yeah. Will be out 1st of August. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. You are informed. Yeah. I've done my homework. Your homework. Okay, so what are your expectations about this album? Millions of record sales. Zillions. These are my expectations. And we're, we're going to headline every festival there is the with this type of music. And everybody is going to support us. The whole world, even the presidents. But these, these are just the first expectations that I have, and then we, move then we on go from up. There, yeah, you know? from the just the scratch. We start there and then slowly, we, then we start playing in outer space. Okay, you find you know some people living outside the space. Let us know. It will be interesting. Exactly. Anyway, what do you expect from the first album to this one? What changes? It's, I think it's in, in every way better. It's more band. We know each other better, we know how we function, we know how to get the best out of each other, you know, it's like there was a lot more a lot more insecurity on the first record. Which is natural. It's just the way it is. Of course. I mean, and, uh, and and I think that's gonna it's even gonna grow. If this one does well and we tour again and we enjoy this, it's gonna benefit on the third one too, you know? Okay. Um, actually I got the rough mix, the eight tracks rough mix. Um, I would say personally I like it more than the first one. Me too. Praise it's more my, my style. It's also more fresh and, and, and I don't know, it's just it just the songs are better in a way. It's, for me it's, it sounds you know fresh, it's simple, which doesn't mean to be bad. No no. Um, but it's more heavy as well. Yes. Not true. that much. Um, I would say it's a kind of blend because your voice is there, so Halloween, Gamma Ray, because K. But there is a gentle touch, hard rock, hard and heavy, that you and probably your drama to give to the album. That, that's the idea I got from the eight tracks. Okay, so is this eight tracks gonna be very similar? The, the whole album is gonna be like that, the other four tracks? Maybe we have the two same? slow ones, there are two slow ones as well. There's one ballad and one slower, yeah. One, one slower, which is not really a ballad, and one real ballad that he did, but the, the other three are pretty much in that vein too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all in that vein, yeah. Okay, it's, um, it's a good thing you said about the, um, that you know better each other, because I wanted to ask you about the creation process of the album. Do you actually get together guys to write or because you have so, such a busy yeah, yeah. schedule? No, no, we have to get together. I mean, it's like, first is collection of ideas mm -hmm. and then yeah. and then everybody tries to bring it to the point where you can see, okay, that's the idea. And then we always meet up. Uh, at least him, Costa, yeah. me, uh, um, usually all of us, at least for a couple of days and to go through all the songs and for as long as necessary to have the arrangements done and know so that we know what's going on. Uh, that always happens. Try ideas out, spontaneous ideas, experiment. Uh, and I guess there is a balance in the decision making process. You are very experienced and there is no kind of chief. No, no, no. Yes. we don't always agree. I mean, we have, we have. No, no, there's no chief. No, no, there's no. I mean, if he tells me which socks to wear every day, <laughs> no. he chooses my shoes. No. Just his class. Your chief or your mom? <laughs> I'm, I'm just my own chief. He doesn't watch to a certain him. extent, you know. Everybody is his own chief to a certain extent, but it's like everybody throws in ideas and. Some some you like, some you don't like, but it's uh, it's it's a very demo, de democratic, democratic, democratic. That's, yeah, the yeah. that's the way it happens. It's like if three think it's great and two think it's not, we we'll do it. You know, unless it's my decision. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, unless I don't like it. Unless I don't care. No, it's a joke. <laughs> no, we're very diplomatic. Very. very. Yeah, that's how you think. Okay, um, let's talk a bit about the um, the two. Obviously, you have to support like this album. I think for any band, it's very important to show what you can do on a stage. Uh, so we're wondering: you are going to be at Leyendas del Rock Festival. Mm -hmm. For now, it's the only appearance here in Spain. So, what do you expect of this festival? You haven't done as unisonic Spanish festival so far. We have done one uh, concert uh, in 2012 with uh, Godhard. 
and that was nice. That was really nice. Yeah, that was a um, in a band to another festival, right? That's right. Festival should be even better, right? Usually, oh, it's hard to say. Depends on us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. The We're going to be well. Depends prepared. on the audience. As always, the audience always, makes always, the gig. If I play bad, it's their fault. <laughs> Honestly, I always, I always, I. That's that's what I experience too during those couple of years now again on a stage is that how little really the band makes the geek we just play you know we just it's sometimes better sometimes less and sometimes the sound is great sometimes it sucks but it's like the, the audience makes the geek there's something coming from them and that carries you and uh, so if, if they don't if, if there's nothing coming from them it's hard to be as good as you could be. If, if something comes from the audience, it just lifts you up, and then you sing even better, play even better. So, you know. how was the, um, the the audience here when great. you came with God yeah, last time? It was great. Yeah, it I, I didn't I, I didn't forget it. I remembered it. I I said, you remember? I said this one thing it's like, you guys are good singers, right? And then they started to sing right away. Just the next second, I don't know what they were singing. Something with Kiski. <laughs> but they were singing. But they were just right away. We like I was singing, yeah, singing, and right. and that's that's just great. It was just lovely. I mean, that's a, it's it's all supposed to be a big joy for everybody. I like to enjoy it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and any audience come to the concert to have a bit of fun with it, to be moved by the music and have a good evening. And uh, the audience is is the main factor if it's a good concert. So um, I know you have plans to to a special guest of a guy. In Europe, um, how do you feel about actually being the guest of a guy? Which, in a way, you can say they are like you know the song of the music you created in the past. You know, the thing is, we're, we we want to take it easy in the first steps. You know, it might be when the record comes out that we go high in the charts and even sell more records. You don't know, but it's good to do it like that. It's good to start easy, supporting it. We like the guys. We think it's a good package. We, we think the right audience is going to show up. And if we do very well, record sale while, while we will we will do our own tour, maybe the next year. You know, so we like feel that. that Ed guys, they've, you know, they've, they've done their years, they've done a lot of stuff. Yeah. They have the success, they've made a good place yeah. in the market, and they deserve to headline. It's their tour, yeah. and we're very grateful that we can be on the tour. In Japan, we're both headlining. Mm -hmm. uh, we're probably going to play there. It's not completely fixed yet. It's an offer there, uh, because they're not more successful than us there. But, uh, um, It's it's, uh, it's 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 a it's a good package. I think it's a good way of starting it. It's always better to start low, other than trying to make big things and nobody shows up or something like that. You know, that's that's always another good thing. It's better to what is it? Um, uh, teeth stopping or uh, you know, don't. Uh, I don't know the word for it. The, the English word. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Take it a step by a step. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. The record's not even out yet. You know. Yeah, so when the record is out, actually, will you plan to do your own headlining tour? Yeah. That will include Spain? I don't know. It really depends on record sales. It all depends on many factors besides record, record sales. Um, we got to see how the interest goes. We also got to see how it develops, you know. Offers. We'd, we'd like to say, yes, this is our plan, and we're going to do this in 2015. And so, but it's we have to take in the small steps and look how it develops. We've been away for a year and a half, or almost two years. Mm -hmm. Now we got to get the ball rolling again and see where it goes, you know. And if it rolls in the right way, yes, then we'll be there. So, still talking about touring, but now some band of yours is uh, weaving ask uh, for the people that read us mm -hmm. about yeah. um, probably uh, maybe a tour with a placement dome. Nope. No, no. No possibility of no, that? No, no. Not going to happen. No, no reason. There's absolutely no reason. Um, what about uh, Pink Cream 69? You know, no, last no, time, uh, you know, remember, uh, there was a... Now you need a We're not going to play either. <laughs> there was a show cancelled in September. Yes, there was. In Madrid here, yeah, so... Yeah. Any plan of rescheduling? Um, I don't think so. I've heard nothing yet. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't make any plans for it. Right now, my head is into Unisonic, and, and I'm here for Unisonic, and I'm going to concentrate on Unisonic. And whatever happens to Pink in the future, we'll see. But at the moment... Okay. So the last two questions is one for you, Dennis, and one for you, Michael. Yeah. Uh, easy ones, if you want. Uh, we've been asked about your experience with Joel Lintana, mm -hmm. in the Sunstorm. You produced the album, the three albums, actually. 
how was it to work with this uh, legend? Yeah, yeah. So it, is. I mean, it was uh, a treat. I mean, the, the, the man can definitely sing, there's no doubt about it. It's also a, a pleasure to make music where I grew up with too, in that melodic rock thing. It's my thing. And like I said, he is a legend. And when you get his tracks and you hear his voice, you think, wow, this is really a good pleasure. And it was just great to do it. Which really one did you do? I did three Suntone records. Joe full, full records? Full records. Do you, do you still have a few copies? Of course I do. <laughs> Okay. Pass it on. Pass it on. <laughs> so, was it easy to work with him? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the last question for the afternoon. Uh, weaving us about, um, you remember the Il Prophecy demo no, that you no. record? <laughs> We've been asked about the responsibilities to have a proper recording of that. Yeah, I mean, that was I was a baby then. I think I was 16, 17, something like that. I'm very gentle. <laughs> that, that was just a, a school kind of demo that we did. I mean, I, oh, it's just so. It's just so childish, you know. Well, Pray maybe add it as a bonus somewhere. No, no way. No, no. Oh. it's not. Not if I can avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> what about maybe rewriting then? Give it them some that's fresh right. or that's, experienced that's, ideas of yours. That's like write new songs. I mean, some of the stuff we use, we use bits of it uh, for the song "Little Time" later in Halloween. We use parts of we we use we got the ride uh, it just turned out to be completely different but it's like the basic song idea was already then there um yeah, it's just too old you know i'm not wearing diapers either anymore you know like, no 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 could no. happen could happen again later but it's like it's just it's just to me that's they're so far away you know? I, i'd like to hide it <laughs> okay. Anyway. It sucks. Nobody should listen to it. Well, you have fans all over the world that will probably will buy it anyway. It helped. It helped actually help um, to get known in Halloween because that that demo was heard by them, I think. Yep. And that's why Wirecast called me up, and that's why I got into Halloween. So it did some good. It did something, yeah. Okay, that's been all. I think it's been a small but very interesting chat. Thank you very much again for your time. It's been a pressure. I hope to see you soon. Leyendas the Rock, or maybe another headlining tour. Do you say it's been a pressure? It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Different word. That's too. It's been pressure. a pleasure. Okay, thank you very much again, guys. See ya.